Morning guys. Welcome to Lodge Boat Adventures. Today we're doing a fishing trip. Right now it's three in the morning and I don't want to wake Alicia up, but I am going to be headed to uh, the, what's it called? San Pedro Pier in California. We're gonna hop on a saltwater fishing boat and do some fishing with some friends. This is only my second time saltwater fishing, so I'm quite a noob at this, but hopefully we have a good day and I'm gonna bring you guys along with us. Let's go. Here with Martin. Oh, about to go gonna, fishing. I'm gonna do a little pan around. <laughs> I already did that. Oh yeah, me too, I already got mine. How many times have you been ocean fishing? Ocean fishing, none. All right. Yeah, well, first this is time. gonna be a first. Got anything to say to the Hush Food Adventures people? Uh, hopefully we catch some good fish today, you guys. Not a picture, guys. <laughs> Trip's over. I got one fish. How many trips you got? The fish you got? I got three keepers. Yep. Chris. What an asshole, right? All right. Bye, guys. Fishing trip's over, and on our way back home. It was a fun trip. I uh, wish that I caught more keepers. I actually caught two keepers but apparently one had to get remeasured and thrown out my bag, which means I have one keeper. Um, but it was fun, crazy action. Um, pretty much like almost every time you drop your line, you're gonna get a bite, but there was a lot of small sculpin. So um, a lot of fish I was not able to keep. Sorry about that, dropped my phone. Um, there was a lot of fish I was not able to keep, but I mean, we probably caught I probably caught maybe 15 fish total. Um, it's just a lot, most of them were just too small. Um, still fun though, had a great time. I think um, we now have the itch, so you'll probably be seeing more fishing videos coming soon. We'll probably hit another trip with um, a longer, like a longer sesh pretty much, maybe a three quarter day to full day. I hear when you get that kind of time that's when you go out to really deep water and that's where the monsters are so hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna go ahead and cook this fish actually I forgot to mention um, out of pity Martin felt bad for me that I'm only coming home with one fish so he went ahead and gave me a second fish so Alicia and I can eat pretty much so thank you Martin I'm gonna go ahead and make this fish worth it. And I'm gonna cook two fish for our meal. And you guys hopefully will enjoy that process as well. Until then, goodbye. Um, okay, so we're gonna make the sculpin tonight. It's gonna be our first time trying sculpin. And the first fish we've ever eaten together that I caught in the ocean. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. Yeah. I'm hoping that we can eat a lot of butter and garlic with it. What? Babe, we don't need that. We're putting it in the air fryer for you. How about you? How did you get this? Oh, I don't know. Did you give that to him? Um, I didn't give it to him. I was just, maybe I did give it to him. But, um, okay, so I was thinking maybe we'll do the air fryer or would you rather I pan sear it? Maybe the air fryer. Okay. That means we definitely don't need butter because we're choosing the healthy route. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna cover it. It's creating balance. So I'm gonna um, just put a light glaze of olive oil on this sculpin and then season it with the seasons that we have over here. And then um, pop it in the air fryer. And we're gonna have us a nice, healthy, ocean caught sculpin dinner. Bada boom, bada bing. Yada ping. Bada bing.
Okay, so we have our fish ready for the air fryer. I have turned the area where the venomous fin was at into a holder for butter and garlic per request of Alicia. So <laughs> you're welcome. So this is now officially unhealthy. Uh, I don't know how the garlic is gonna hold in the air fryer. I'm hoping that the butter will like keep it from burning. So uh, we'll just have to go and see and hope this goes well. See you guys soon. Sides are very limited today. So we are gonna go with some frozen corn. Um, they're limited because I, at the, when we were at the grocery store, I said we needed to get more sides, but Alicia said we were good. So this is what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I would put the camera on her, but she's breastfeeding right now. But um, we gonna doctor up this corn and make it dang. Fish is done. Been in the air fryer for a while. Let's see about. 15 minutes. It looks like the garlic held up. It actually stayed in police for the most part. Butter soaked into the fish, hopefully. And they're looking crispy. I think, I think this might be good. Let's see. So we got our our meals here, and we're gonna give it a shot. You had some questions about the fish? Are there bones? Yes. Um, I started pulling yours out. I don't know if you can see the tail back here. That's your spine. Can I just pull the whole thing out? You can. Just be careful so you make sure it doesn't break or you're gonna... But yeah, I mean, for the most part, it'll come out. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, there you go. Boom pal surprise. What is it, uh, is it garlicky? It's not bad. What does it taste it's like? It's like, um, I don't want to say it's chewy, but it has like a almost gummy texture. That's not good at all. Not gummy, I don't know, it's <laughs> like the thickness of it. Here, you're better at that, let's Let see. Let me try it. Don't um, hit me so that the light's not like in the background. Thank you. Okay, let's get a piece of this. I was gonna just kind of take a bite like this with the whole piece of garlic. Can you see that garlic on there? Oh! Yeah. That should be it. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Meaty. Yeah, I guess that's the word I was looking for. It's um, it just tastes to me like really tender fish. Um, what's weird, it's so like, the meat is so flaky. Like, I don't know if you can see this, like the chunks. It's almost giving me lobster vibes a little bit. Nah. Which is really interesting, because it's firm, but it's still more... Is that bone? Maybe. It's still more whole than a lot of fish. Like, it holds together more than most fish. Let me think. Not completely lobster, but solid piece of fish. I really dig it. I don't mind catching more sculpin.
All right. This is a good piece of fish. Wouldn't you agree, Sylvester? <laughs> he I would. His mouth open. <laughs> okay, now for the corn. Wait. I'm gonna try the corn. I mean, you go and try the corn. Let me know what you think. It's hard to go wrong with that. Woo wee! Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna no, try that. Here, come on, come around. You doctored it up? Of course, I doctored it up. Mm-hmm. Not too shabby, huh? Go on and get in there one more time. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that, huh? That's just What's that? That's the good stuff. Song? Two chain song? Yeah. Which one? The one that I was like, I love this. Song. I can't go for that? Yeah. That's how it makes me feel. <laughs> It's no like can do. Music. Yeah, it's just that smooth See, buttery. Don't get copyright. Go I can't go for that. No, no. No can do. I can't go for that. No. No can do. I can't. That's all I know. <laughs> Hit up the fish one more time. I feel like you didn't get a good bite of the fish. Just tell me. Don't be scared of it. Big, if you don't get you a bigger bite and quit I'm not playing, scared. I don't want to eat. And get a piece and get a good chunk of garlic up in there. I don't want to eat bone. Babe, if the bone gets in your mouth, spit it out. It ain't that hard. I don't feel like being stabbed by a bone. Babe. If I can avoid it, why can't I you know avoid You know what you know what the problem is? It's cuz you don't know how to Okay, so my battery or my uh my phone ran out of storage. This You're just water. in the middle of talking about how delicious the fish was and not gummy at all. It is actually really good. And you know what? I think that like, oh, I thought you stopped again. It's really good. And I think that like with the garlic, like I could use more garlic. Woo! I almost feel like I want it to be a little saltier. You know, I was worried about the saltiness cause I kind of coated it. So I actually like kind of tried to make it not too salty, but I, I could feel that. Yeah. Everybody, it is absolute chaos over here. Kobe's watching us. The dogs are trying to kill each other. It's just a complete, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, so Welcome for to you, the household. <laughs> so it's pretty good, but not the best fish you've ever had. That's what I'm hearing. I could just use a little bit more salt. Okay. And, um, what yeah. about the texture of the fish? I feel like I like the texture of like trout. Like that's like the perfect texture for Texture, me. the trout's a bit softer. Yeah, like, and it's not as like um, thick or meaty. Yeah, you know I, mean? I like the firmer fish. This yeah. is a fish that's had a hard life and been swimming in real ocean currents. Been swimming in real ocean currents. That's not them little farms where the meat's all delicate. It's a G fish. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm not mad at it and I am gonna tear it up. Yep. And Dogs, can you guys shut up for a second? Yeah, they don't care about this. Hey, hey, that's enough. Hey, Blue, come in, Mowgli. All right, well, we gotta wrap this up. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoy videos like this and want us to do that more often, let us know. Um, we are gonna plan more fishing trips, so keep an eye out on that. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the noti bell. Oh, make sure you share with your friends and hope you enjoy this absolute chaos right now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.